the run game just abysmal last year. I mean, you know, when you look at it, uh, you know, 1,300 yards, five touchdowns. What? I mean, how critical is it to, to make some big strides in that department to, to help that offense get going? Well, we've got a number of things in our in our program that, that we have to emphasize, and that rushing the football is definitely one of them. And we've got to do a great job as a coaching staff creatively finding ways uh, to run the ball. You know, and, and does it have to be the tailback position or quarterback position? or It's all 11 of them and, and us together collectively as a staff on putting together a plan schematically on what our kids can do. And then absolutely, you know, if you're able to run the ball, then then that opens up some other things for you. How has Alex Ross looked this summer and, and what do you, you know, expect from moving forward? The times that, that you're able to be around your kids during the summer, you know, you notice number one is work ethic. Uh, he's, he's got a, a tremendous inner drive to be successful. Uh, that stands out uh, pretty easy to see. And then you know, one day on the field, we'll go look at the video. But you know, there's a number of guys that, that uh, caught my eye a little bit. He was one of them. How much more comfortable with the addition of him and Crockett and Nate Strong now? Do you feel with that that running back situation that maybe you did in the spring? Well, that, those were answers that we were trying to get you know fixed um, as we as we finish spring practice, and, and it's always an ongoing. Uh, you know, you're always recruiting. You're always trying to find the best fit for your for your team. And uh, you know, if you make a couple of additions like that, that we think that again, we've got to get them ready to go play. But those are two guys that could help us. Um, you know, early on. If you look at the numbers last year, the the running game here was was terrible. One of the worst in the country. I, do you feel like you are coming in here to be kind of a savior for the run game in any way? Uh, I mean, we're just working hard. I mean, I didn't do nothing really last year running, running wise, anyways, either. So, I mean, we're all just going hard and working. I mean, so ain't nobody what, save you. What, uh, I mean, why, why come to Missouri? I mean, what, what was it about? Why'd you want to leave Oklahoma and why was Missouri the, the place that you decided w would be best for you to finish up your eligibility? Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, Coach Heupel is a real good guy and, uh, you know, a great coach. and I did well with him a long time ago. I'm seeing I have one more year. So I was just say, I think your his last year at Oklahoma was your best year down there, right? All right. So was that? So that that was the, the biggest reason, factor. Yeah. 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 What, for people who haven't seen much of you play, what, how do you describe yourself as a running back? What do you think your strengths are? Uh, speed, get downhill, physical when I need to be physical. 